Okay, so we went over mandatory breaths. We are going to go over some patient triggered breaths now. Um, as you can see, it's just going through the mandatory breaths right now. The, it can, patients can trigger a breath two ways. It can either be pressure or flow triggered, and we're going to show you both. Um, we are in pressure right now. It's the sensitivity set at minus two. So we will see what a breath looks like with that once it comes back around. Okay, very good. So mandatory breath. And there's a patient triggered breath. You see it dropped a little. We'll do it one more time. So right after this breath. Okay. You see a little drop and so the, it, my, the negative two effort and then it gave a breath. Um, the volume at the bottom should be the same. So yeah, the volume's the same. Um, we'll try flow cycled right now. So we go in, change it to... So flow triggered at two liters per minute. You shouldn't see the negative deflection now, but okay, after this breath I'll do it. Yeah, you should, you should look back every time you should be looking for it. Yeah. So, it just looks like any other breath. So you got that. And Same volume. So, yeah, so that, that's it. So he's... They are uh, all... Well, we'll try it again. So he's got... So... Mild to moderate retractions. Time cycle. It's not flow cycle. Uh, it should be the same with... Well, pressure so sensitivity. Can't see it Okay. Yeah. Um... Okay, so there's a breath. So time cycled as well. Um, the patient can also make bigger efforts if they want to. We should be able to see that down here. I'm going to make a very big effort. So you can see that the volume went up a little. And the next breath should be a little bit smaller. And that's pretty much it for patient triggering.